Hi, I'm the Morlander and this is Morlander EDC. Now today, it's going to be a bit of a two-parter. So today is how to make and then I'll test this out and in a few weeks time, maybe a month or so, we'll have a how did it fare style video. So what we are here today to look at is the Notch Wallet from Mowall. Now, at this point, I do have to point out, this isn't it, this little manila envelope. Apologies if you can hear that, I'm trying to work around that strange noise. Um, but this is a wallet that's very unique, incredibly unique, in fact. It, it, it comes in an envelope, like an envelope, it's, it's that thin. Um, and yeah, really, you've got to put it together, and that's part of the fun about the Notch Wallet. So what I'll do, as I usually do, I'll turn the camera around so that we can take a closer look whilst I'm doing that. If at any point you do enjoy this content, please feel free to hit like, subscribe and share. That would be amazing. But for now, let's take a closer look at the Notch Wallet from my wall. Now, as mentioned, when this arrives, it just comes in a very plain and simple manila envelope. Just this side. On here, there's some really, really nice branding that go with Mowall and the Notch Wallet, which is very cool. But really, this is just to show that as far as packaging is concerned, um, as far as, I suppose, as well as a, as a carbon footprint, it definitely leaves a very small carbon footprint. It, it's very simple and light to be able to post around. Now, when it comes, I'll take this out. And what I will say is, so at the moment, I've actually put this together and, and kind of dismantled it a little bit, mainly because I wanted to make sure that when I made this piece of content, that it was, it was something that I could do without having to watch a piece of content whilst I was doing it. Um, but when it arrives, it's usually very flat compared to this, so um, as part of the process you have to go around and score some of the bits, which we'll, we'll, we'll have a look at. But it comes with a little card, you know, just to say thank you for making a pooch purchase from Mowall. Um, and it also comes with a little guitar pick, which is actually really good because this is useful. This, this, is, this is useful when you're putting it together and being able to, to score some of these lines. But then on the flip side here, there is a QR code that you can use and if you scan this QR code it will take you to YouTube uh, where the Mowall people have been really good and they've made some content on exactly how to put this together. It's very simple, very easy to follow but I definitely recommend doing that. I think if you were to just try and freeball this then you're probably going to struggle. In fact you're definitely going to struggle. Um, when I put this together initially um, it took me, I had to watch the video twice, I'd say. I'm reasonably good at following instructions, um, but I definitely had to watch the video twice just to make sure that I got it right. Um, but to fast forward, this is made from a very sustainable material called um, tree leather or wood leather. Um, in the wood timber industry, one of the huge... Um, bits that, that, that just gets kind of thrown away in a lot of instances is, is the offcuts and the shavings that come from wood. Um, so what this does is it takes all of that and then um, adds a glue so that this can be pressed into what looks and feels like cardboard but it also has a lot of properties of, of leather as well. Um, but it, it makes this highly sustainable material that is very tough. That's one of the things with this. So I'll show you how to put it together and we'll have a look at how it wears uh, when, I, when I get back to a, a future piece of content. Um, but it's, it's certainly a material that I've never come across before. It, part of it does feel like a, a high, good quality cardboard. But then, yeah, there's, there's definitely a different texture to it. And the way that it, it folds is, is definitely different to, um, to, to, to cardboard. It, feels, it does feel more like leather. Um, but when it arrives, as I say, so you can fold it all out flat, 
Uh, it's kind of a large T-shape, so you have this bit that goes off to the left and to the right, and then a bit that comes down that have these extra little bits of material on here. So when you get it, you'll be able to see that there are lots of folds that have already been scored. Uh, so you just have to go round and fold them and using the, um, use, oh, where have I put it? Using the little uh, guitar pick, just rub along them to make sure that they're all scored perfectly. And then we, when we get into actual folding, so the way that I followed it, um, when when you when you see the when you see it on YouTube, uh, so you hold it flat like that, fold this top bit over, and then that folds over onto there. Now, as part of the process, you'll have already gone through and you'll have made you'll kind of rolled this between your fingers, similarly if you were rolling a cigarette or one of those crazy large cigarettes that you see every now and again. Um, but it's a similar process, but all this does is it just makes this uh, piece of cardboard, or I keep referring it to as cardboard, when it's not cardboard, it's, it, it's wood leather. And that just adds a bit of malleability to this. So if you hold this together there and fold that over, you'll see here on this back section that it now has um, a, a, a box section to that. So, as I say, so you fold that bit over, pinch this bit together, and then fold that across. So, you've now got more closer to a T. You have this bit here on the left, this bit here on the right, and this bit here on the bottom. So, the next point is that this bit then folds up to cover the bit that you've just folded across. So, now you've got an inverted T. Still, this is still here the same on the left, this is still the same on the right, and then the bit that came across the bottom then folds up. From here, the part that's here on the right hand side, we've got two scored bits that we'll have already, I certainly have already have done, and then you have a fold here at the top, so that folds over. But what you need to do is, so this bit that's just been folded over, this let's call this the tongue, for now but not across this bit that we've already just rolled this goes across the top of that and then folds in so now you can you can already see part of how the construction of this works I'm just reaching into my pockets so you'll have just excuse me sir, for a second because I have one of these dummy cards so this bit here works as a pass-through section that you can put cards into that maybe you use a little bit more than other cards so that, that's, a, that's the first bit of the construction. Now the next bit, kind of the tricky bit, but in the grand scheme of things, not that tricky. So if I open this up here, you have this fold where we've just folded that bit into. We have the fold here that we've just done the cigarette rolling, and then you have the bit behind there. So this loose part here, what we need to be able to do is, the top section folds in to this bit behind the back. Oh, I'll just pull this bit out. Sorry, one second. Now don't worry about manhandling this as well, because it's the, the material that it's made from, it's actually really tough and it, does, it, doesn't, it just doesn't rip. So I've folded that bit in, and then what needs to happen now is, this bit needs to go into this sleeve here in this orientation so and you can do that just by holding it in there and then pushing it into that now you're going to end up with this just loose bit here so if you do happen to have a card what i definitely recommend is just pushing that in and hopefully you can see there that is another section where your card can be used so you push this here and your card comes out of the top so now we're really, we're really into the last little bit of putting this together. Now again, so beforehand, make sure you watch the video uh, on, on YouTube and you'll be able to see. So these lines have already been scored and I've already been in and folded these to make sure that they sit nice and flat. On this side, the scores only have a single score. On this side, they have a double score here at the bottom so that when it folds over, it's actually got more of a, of a box um, construction. Um, but when this is all together, so this 
folds in like that so that the sides act like a box this side acts like a box and this bit it's kind of got a, a kind of a, a kermit the frog kind of mouth to it so that when you've got all this and this is the bit this is the bit that i got wrong when i first did it because as i mentioned you know i had to watch the video twice so if we then look down into here again we've kind of got three sections so there's this bit here there is a bit behind so this is the bit that we rolled with our hands so you have a bit in front of there you have a bit behind there and then you have that section that we've just put this loose kind of tongue fold into so it's it's not this one that you want to put it into it's this one here and again we just have to do a little bit of folding with this so you just have to push maybe that bit out with your thumb so that this bit fits into there just like that and again just kind of give it a bit of a push with your hand and then you've got this bit that opens out so when you hold it like that and push it in it fits in there perfectly now I am a bit of a perfectionist now my, I, I certainly don't believe that I am but I know my wife always says that I'm a bit of a perfectionist so what I did was afterwards I went back around it just to score these lines a little bit more so that it it feels more boxy more square as such now if I grab the rest of my cards out of here hi Norman you all right how's it going big fella um so so what we've got is we've got a few sections on here so a couple of cards can fit into this front section so you can have your most used cards in there you want to push one forward you can get those out with these on the back section here, some people certainly worry about uh, RFID and people having their stuff kind of stolen. A lot of RFID blocking wallets it's, it's, it is a bit of a gimmick and even Mowall say that. But just to make sure that people feel confident with this, there is an RFID blocker in here. So when your cards are in, your RFID bit would usually be there. So if I put these two cards in here, this blocker is right on top of the cards whereas if I just want to use my card quickly I can push that up which will move the blocker out of the way and I can use this if I wanted to go into a store and pay uh, and, and pay with it but instead if I would got say two or three cards in there I can push these up I can fan my cards out and I can get the ones that I need uh, and that's there as well as far as money is concerned so this this is that little bit that we th this uh, this little th uh, fob here on the side. Let's put these cards in the front bit here as well. Uh, so this is the bit that we rolled in our hands, and there's a slot here which you can do. You can either put some more cards into there, or you can put some money into there, so that if you need to get that, you can easily get it out. And then the last little bit um, was this was this tray bit. You know the one, one that I said that it got kind of a kermit the frog mouth to it so what you can do with this is so here i have a couple of keys but might be the situation that maybe you want to keep some change in here so this bit slides out and opens up you can then drop your keys into there close it back up slide it back in and you've got a function in which you can store additional things into there it does have a bit of a shake but you know at the end of the day you're, you're storing loose change or you're storing keys into it um but all in all like i say so that first bit when i was trying to put it together it took me about half an hour to work it out i realized that i was pushing this into the run section which from watching the video online I, it, it was my fault rather than watching the video's fault. It, it, it was me misunderstanding it. But once you've got it together, it, you know, it, it feels awesome. And the fact that you've made this kind of contributes to how cool and, and unique a wallet like this really is. Now this is definitely incredibly unique. I've never had to build my own wallet, but I don't know why I've not had to, I don't know why I've not had to build my own wallet before, mainly because they're leather or they're, uh, they're, they're you know, they're made from metal. But this, this is incredibly unique. Now, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to put all of my cards into this and this is going to be my daily wallet. I'll use it for a month or so, maybe two, because 
from what I've spoken to Millwall about, it's very similar, as it's a tree leather, it's very similar to leather. So it will get its own patina and it'll even start to crush as well because you know you, you, you look at this now and it, it has reasonably sharp 90 degree angles but this is going to be in my back pocket I'm going to be sitting on this for seven or eight hours a day for the next few months so it'll start to get its own shape but we'll still stay within this now you can't pull this apart the only way to pull it apart is to take that tray out once the tray's out you then have to follow your steps back but when you pull on any of these folds they, they just don't open so yeah I'm, I'm gonna this is gonna be my daily driver for the next month or so and we'll come back and we'll see exactly how to do it it's fun to put together it's definitely unique um, and yeah, it's very cool. Really, really, really cool. I was genuinely excited. So when Mulwall got in touch with me and asked if I'd like to work with him, I was like, hell yes, I'd like to try this out. Um, very cool people. It's all made in the US. Um, so you should definitely check them out. I'll leave their link in the description below. Full disclosure, I certainly wasn't paid to make this content. They sent me this for free. Um, but it, it is very, very, very cool. Um, there'll be some of my links in the description below, as it usually is. But for now, stay safe, stay Moorlander, and stay EDC.